With the passage of the 18th Amendment, Prohibition went into effect. Americans responded with the creation of illegal establishments known as speakeasies, which sold and served alcohol. One of the first well-known speakeasies was the 21 Club, located at 21 West 52nd Street. Originally a brownstone home, it was turned into a speakeasy in 1828 by Jack Crindler and Charlie Burns. This wasn't the first speakeasy opened by these two college students. Their first was the Redhead in Greenwich Village. The 21 Club opened its doors on December 31st, 1929, and with the coming new year came the introduction of one of New York's most famous bars. Success of the 21 Club was due to their ability to prevent themselves from getting caught during a raid by federal agents. The owners built a system of pulleys and levers which would sweep bottles from the bar shelves and hurl the smashed remains down a chute into the New York sewer system. Another way of dodging conviction and trouble was by hiding their over 2,000 cases of wine in their cellar, which was actually located next door at 19 West 52nd Street. The two and a half ton cellar door was well hidden behind several smoked hams and a shelved wall filled with canned goods. Currently, the 21 Club is a fine dining restaurant and bar. Patrons can see and actually dine in the vault that was made famous during Prohibition. Another well-known speakeasy in New York was Bill's Gay 90s, located at 57 East 54th Street. The building was built as a residential unit in the 1850s. Bill's Gay 90s opened in 1924 not as a hole in the wall where liquor was purchased, but as a distinguished nightclub. The owner, Bill Hardy, was very popular due to being a boxer, jockey, dance instructor, Broadway dandy, and being married to one of the Zeke Field girls. His popularity would ensure a good stream of customers. Although a popular place, Bill's, like its counterpart to the West, had a system to quickly hide its booze in a secret room under the bar. A line on the walls of Bill's is an endless collection of photographs of vaudeville acts, boxers, opera singers, and socialites. These photos, along with movie posters from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, is said to be valued in the thousands. Bill's, or Bill's 90s Cafe, as it's sometimes called today, is a local establishment that hasn't changed its decor in decades. Although Bill's 90s Cafe isn't as upbeat and popular as it was during Prohibition, it's still maintaining the traditions that made it famous by offering live music every Monday through Saturday evenings. Even after Prohibition was repealed in 1933, 21 Club and Bill's Gay 90s have maintained their popularity through the ages and remain a few of New York's famous places.